guys, it's Michelle. Welcome to my channel, Grateful Creations. Well, there has been a request to do a video on how to clean silicone off of your um, pieces. And I have, I'm teaching this course at the uh, Fluid Art Boutique, and it is called Colossal Cells, and I use a lot of silicone. So this is a piece I did just a few days ago. What I do is I cover it with paper towels. Sometimes I'll put something on top of it. Beware, if you're putting a canvas on top of it, the silicone's gonna come through, so the other canvas. So uh, just be mindful of that. And I, I've been, I let this sit for about an hour or two. You can leave it overnight, it's okay. Once you take it off, a lot of the, ooh, a lot of the silicone has come off already. I just give it a good wipe like this. Right, oh geez, I'm sorry. Uh, you should be, you should wait a, at least a few days, if not longer, to do this process. And as you notice, there's a lot in the center. So I'm just taking this off with a paper towel to start out with. Getting as much as you can off while you've got your paper towel soaked with silicone anyway. All right, there's step one. Here's some um, supplies you're gonna need. Dawn dishwashing liquid. I have put it into a little uh, container with some water. Uh, baby powder. Um, this one's pure cornstarch. So you can use pure cornstarch. Um, and if you use the baby powder from before that isn't made of pure cornstarch, you need to use a mask because that'll get into your lungs and paper towel. So uh, we've done that. Now we're just going to take the Dawn soaked uh, sponge and just give it a good wipe. Oh geez. I love these sponges. You get them at the dollar store. Oh my God, they are so wonderful. <laughs> you get like a pack of six for a buck 25. And um, it's, they, they just hold everything so well. Like they really hold the, um, the soap. Okay, so now we're really getting into those nooks and crannies. I am sorry it's squeaking like that. Just give it a good wipe. And then you're going to let it sit for a minute or two and then you're gonna wipe off. See, there's barely any transfer. There is a little bit of transfer, that's okay. It's not gonna affect the painting. Um, you're going to wanna take the soap off. So um, I will pause you and I'll be back. I'm back. So I'm just gonna wipe this down with a paper towel first. Make sure you get your corners and sides too when you're doing this. getting most of the soap off with this. And then you're going to want to take your sponge with a clear, make sure all of the soap is out of the sponge and just wipe it down. Make sure all that soap is off. A step further you could just leave it like this but um, I don't trust it <laughs> I don't trust just leaving it like this so I've used the Dawn I've used a paper towel to soak up the most I've used the Dawn this, this process isn't it, it doesn't take a lot of time but sometimes you have to leave it for a few days 
this I just sprinkle the baby powder over top and don't be stingy and then I just make sure I've got my all my sides corners like I said you can use just pure cornstarch I love the smell of baby powder actually never had babies so but I think I remember years ago I had, there was a baby powder um, scented uh, cologne and I, I used that when I was a teenager just rub that in and you can see how it's getting in there and it's soaking up a lot and you can leave this for several hours or several days that's fine I it doesn't really matter hey guys so we're just going to take our brush it's a chip brush it's a really cheap cheap brush from the dollar store and we're going to get as much of that baby powder slash oh, there we go again slash cornstarch out of it dish soap and water and um, wipe that down. I do recommend using a fresh sponge on this. Um, don't want to contaminate it with anything else. So just going to wipe that down. You can go on the other side with the scrubby. You're not going to kill it. <laughs> to rinse the soap off. I really want to get into these nuts and crannies here. No transfer. Make sure you get your sides. So if you're really, really scared that you're going to have some residue, you, the last step would be Windex. And uh, this should do it. I am going to rinse it off now, let it dry, and then we'll varnish. Okay, I'm back. So. I would start out with another fresh sponge or just make sure that it is really rinsed out. This is, when we're dealing with acrylic, it's, it's plastic, guys. So um, you're not gonna hurt it by putting water on it because you can put water in plastic. Now, I would recommend taking a dry paper towel and uh, toweling it off. Give it overnight before you attempt to varnish at least a few hours to let it complete oh geez louise to let it completely dry sorry about that guys put something there no there silence the squeaks and this looks pretty darn good. It's a little bit of transfer, that's no problem. 
considering how rough we've been with this one. All right, I'm gonna let it dry. And then we can either spray varnish or varnish varnish. It seems like there's a few cracks. I might have to fix those before I go ahead and varnish. So, what I would do there is take my paint ah. in the same color, grab one of my detail, fine detail brushes, And if you want to do any embellishing, now is the time to do it too, before we get varnish on it. But we've got it nice and clean now, so it should work with anything you want to do to it. Like, Hey guys, so this is the end result. I did put varnish on it. Sorry, I'm outside. And it, there, there's no, whoa, Wilbur. <laughs> oh my God, let me try this. Anyhow, um, it's very shiny. There's no, there's a lot of texture to it. So it's not that there's um, any issues with the with the silicone. Now you could go ahead and put um, resin on it. Resin is for everything, but I choose not to. So there you go. Please be safe and create. Please like, share, and subscribe and ciao for now.